hey guys and welcome back to another video so today's video is going to be a cash stuffing video for paycheck number one for the month of november and i am going to be doing it um my budget is going to be digital so i know i told you guys i'm going to try to give this a shot but i'm actually going to use a whole planner that's digital i'm still going to use my passion planner because i really love that planner i just got to know how to play with it so i have the cash here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move the cash to the side so i am able to show you the planner that i'm going to be using so i'm going to go into my good notes if it's i'm going to try to move it over because i think there's a glare from the ring light and i do apologize for that let me try to move it over a little bit more and all right so i think that should work i can't really see but hopefully that works so i'm gonna go into my good notes this is the budget planner by elaine michelle i thought it was pretty cool how she had the setup so i am trying to play with the whole calendar as you can see i did some things i was trying to coordinate some colors but um i'm still messing with it so but let's go into the actual monthly bill pay tracker so rent is due on the first which is 562 dollars and 60 cents that is already paid for because i guess the month prior if i'm explaining it right i'm already saving for the next month so this is already paid for already so cell phone is a on due date is the fifth 150 i already paid for it i actually got a new phone so i'm going to be paying a little bit more out of pocket until i finish paying off the phone so um canva 11 12 apple music 11 18 Target 1122 Capital, I mean C Cable 1122 Chase Credit Card 1126 and Apple Credit Card is 1130. Student loans, I don't have a due date or the amount because everyone knows that is on forbearance, if that is the word. So let's go into my monthly budget. So my monthly budget should look like $1,700, and you guys already know I just broke down my bills and cash stuffing envelopes i'm gonna only put in a hundred which that's gonna change because i have all this don't add up to this so i have to change some stuff but cash on cash envelope is a hundred dollars sinking funds is 20 and then she has like the total expenses here and the remaining funds but i still have to play with that as i said so my savings goal is to save two hundred dollars um my goals for November is to save and manage money, save $200 and make extra money. My focus, it says focus on what's important, my emergency fund savings and paying off Chase. So that is for the month of November. And we are going to get into my paycheck, my paycheck budget. So my paycheck budget is for november 11th to the 24th so work is 850 um that's what i'm budgeting rent 282 cable 135 this is everything that's going to come out of this paycheck because i noticed i was doing half and half and i'm like whoa hold on um like for cable i'm like i took out half but then the other half is after the bill is due so i was like uh, -uh. i have to change that and start doing things a little different so cable is 135 cell phone i am budgeting 100 um like i said i bought a new phone so i know the first bill the next bill is going to be very high canva is coming out the 12 12.95 apple music 14.99 target is uh 29 a month but i paid 30 i'm gonna pay more but i'm just putting 30 for now and that i already paid for chase is gonna get 25 amazon 20 cash envelopes is gonna get 190 sinking funds 40 extra 40 you see why i said i have to do cash envelopes different and and here because it only says 100 and how could i put 100 if my paycheck is putting 190 in the cash envelopes 
sinking funds is 40, extra is gonna get 40. So the total expenses is $614.94. That is my expenses for the month. So the remaining is $235.06, which is the cash envelope, sinking funds, and, and extra. And then any cents that's left over, which is the six cents, it goes straight into my savings. And then this is just paycheck, another paycheck. But some of these I might use as side hustles. And I'll write side hustle because I want to be able to track that as well. So I'll know how much I've been making for the month and seeing how I'm spending money. And this is my spending tracker. There's one, two, and then money management, which is the cash envelopes. There's date, category, starting balance, ending balance. Then this is the sinking funds here. And then I'm gonna do a budget reflection, which is what areas did I do well? What areas did I struggle with? How can I spend less? How can I save more? And then it goes into the next month. So let's get to the cash stuffing because I'm excited for cash stuffing. So I'm gonna move this to the side and we are going to get started. So rent gets 282 which I'm gonna just put 280 because I have to get changed. I forgot it was, oh, happy veterans to anybody that served. Um, I appreciate you. So the bank is closed and I didn't realize that. So I gotta make change. So I'll put the 282 to the side. And then we have the 135. The 135 is gonna get one. Oh, come on, come on. 25, 30, 35. This is for the cable. And then it's going to be 100 for my cell phone. And then Canva stood in the bank. Apple Music stood in the bank. Target was already paid for. Groceries gets $150. So one, two, three, four, five, 20, 40. 45.50. So this is for groceries. This is going to go on my thingy here. My little dividers. My little, I call them my little fake dividers. <laughs> but um, yes, so Amazon is going to get 20. I'm, I'm just putting the money to the side. Emergency is going to get 20. Uh, savings is going to get 20. And then I have a bunch of fives, guys. And then Chase is going to get 25, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, okay, and then extra, I got to put extra in the envelope, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, right, so 40 for extra, let's put that in the envelope, because I sure do have that, um, because I don't want to do any more envelopes until probably maybe the new year, but I think I'm going to actually start building, uh, making my envelopes in December so I could get a head start. Um, I did emergency, so let's put the $20. I forgot that I have emergency, an envelope for that. For the 20 And then... I'm not doing any college, guys, because like I said, I already have my half and my daughter's putting her, her half in, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, let's see what is remaining here is 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, wait, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Okay, so there's $80 here. Um, this is going to be for my next video and you guys are gonna see what this money is for. So that is it for my cash stuffing. It was short and sweet and I'm gonna be really trying to do this digital stuff because it seems like fun and I see more of a breakdown um, when I do it like that because I carry my little personal calendar with me and then all I do is I'm gonna be transferring it over here. So, and hopefully I could do probably a weekly check-in or bi-weekly check-in because I get paid every two weeks. So, with that being said, guys, have a great weekend.